how do you beat the overwhelm? Because you know, when you walk in, even when I go to like the Atlanta trade show, for example, America's Mart, or even in Dallas marketplace, and you just like, there's three buildings and there's hundreds and hundreds of suppliers even there. And you know, things like that. How do you reduce the overwhelm of things being so ginormous and so many different competitors on the same products? You know, that's such a great question. Um, and it's something that everybody struggles with, whether or not you're doing private label or because there's so many new ideas. I, we entrepreneurs, we are squirrel chasers. You know, we, <laughs> we're, we're the struggle is real. <laughs> our, yeah. We're focused on our bundles. We're focused on our private labels. We're focused on our business. And then it's like squirrel. Okay, wait, but there's an opportunity over here and there's an opportunity over here. And so Okay, the way to look at that is um, number one, go in with a plan of what's most important to you. So you are obviously going to have some things that you're looking for, right? That you are really wanting to find better prices for or better ideas for, you know, like I had some ideas for products um, that um, I was looking for. For example, this is a 3D printed version of my litter box cleaner. Um, these colors are great. That's what we had left in ABS plastic. <laughs> but I wanted to make this part collapsible because of shipping on Amazon, right? And this is actually a really large product. This is a mini version. Um, and I was walking around the fair looking for something that was collapsible in a container like this that I could develop on my own for my product. And I found it there. Um, and, you know, met with that supplier and, and it was really great. And they're still my supplier to this day. Um, but so there's those things you're looking for. There's those things that are stock that you're like, yep, I know. I just want to find a better price for that. Like my floor mats that I was talking about. Right. Um, and then there's the new ideas, the new things that you're going to see. So what we do before you come on the trip is we actually teach you how to create your sourcing list, what to expect how to like prepare for when you do see those squirrel ideas, um, how do you get their information and, and without feeling pressure to like make an order, like none of that's necessary. Like a lot of people, they don't source anything at the fair. They just go, they get the contact information and then they follow up either with a factory visit after the fair or they, um, or they just call, set up a meeting, you know? So what I do is I go in with a plan and then I prepare for squirrels. So as long as you know, like, oh, okay, I'm going to see a lot of squirrels. I, I'm going to prioritize the things that I must do, right? And then I'm going to have fun with the things that are extra. And when you go into every booth, we teach you a process. We teach you a process of how to, you know, and I'm happy to share it here. You go into your, you go into the booth and you, you know, you look at different things you ask a few questions about different products. If you're looking to differentiate a product, you can ask them, hey, can we do this in other colors? Is there, you know, tell me about more about this product, right? And then what you do is on your phone, you take a picture of the things that you're interested in. You take a picture of, you exchange business cards with the person, right? They will staple it to their book. And you also, we teach you to bring your own book and staple their business card inside of your book. And um, you can make some notes about the products. And then what I do is I take a picture of that page in my book and with their business card. And now when I go back through my phone photos at the end of the day, I see all the products I was interested in followed by the page with the notes with their business card. And then I take a picture with them and we exchange information on WeChat and I send them the picture of us and then when I follow back up with them, I know who they are and they know who I am because we have the picture together from the Canton Fair. Um, and it's very easy because that's also in my phone. Oh, here's the person that I met there. Here's their name. Here was their business card. Let me go ahead and follow back up on WeChat with them and let's start that conversation again. 